Halloween is a special time in Terraria, as it's one of the two times when the game checks your device's date and time to give you new content. And as it is Halloween, it is only fitting that in this video I talk about all the content that's added in the seasonal event, and why it's actually the best time to play Terraria. But before we begin, if you enjoy, please be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you want to see more content from me, as I'm so close to hitting 10k subscribers, and I would love to hit that by the end of the year. In the description, there's a playlist with all of my 1.4.4 informational videos, so check it out if you want to learn more about the update. The Halloween event starts on October 10th and lasts until November 1st. The event is primarily cosmetic, but it has some small changes that make it the best time to start a playthrough. The first thing you'll notice is collectible hearts and mana stars are changed to candy apples and soul cakes. They're functionally the same, but it is a little bit less strange that you go around eating a bunch of apples than hearts, isn't it? During Halloween, some of the most common enemies will wear Halloween costumes. Slimes will have a cute bunny mask, Zombies will be in three different costumes, Demon Eyes will be in two different costumes, and Skeletons will be in three different costumes. The Ghost enemy will now spawn in the Cavern layer. There's also one new enemy exclusive to the Halloween event. The Raven acts identically to a Vulture, but it doesn't drop anything special. But, it is a funny bird, and I support it. They spawn at night, or from chopping down a forest tree. The Hopping Jack is a slime, however it doesn't drop any gel, so it's just a silly little guy. It used to be a Halloween exclusive, but apparently in 1.4.4, they changed it to be able to spawn at any time of the year in a graveyard during hard mode, and not just at night. The most powerful change is that pumpkins grow naturally on grass during Halloween. This is important because normally you can only get pumpkins from the Dryad, so you can get the very powerful pumpkin armor early. The pumpkin armor gives a respectable 7 defense, but its set bonus is a 10% increase to all damage, which for the start of the game is pretty great. You can also use 10 pumpkins at a furnace to craft pumpkin pies, which are a solid food item, giving 8 minutes of plenty satisfied, the tier 2 well fed. Pumpkins harvested during Halloween also have a very rare chance to drop a magical pumpkin seed, a funny little pumpkin pet. The next main feature of the event is goodie bags. Goodie bags can be dropped by any enemy that wasn't spawned by a statue, but obviously only during Halloween. They can be opened to get a multitude of different items, but mostly vanities. There are a lot of different costumes that you can get from goodie bags, but I won't mention all of them, just the important ones. You can get a creeper costume, which don't tell anyone I told you this, but this is actually a reference to a niche indie game called Minecraft. There's a robot costume, which has a really funny walking animation, a Grim Reaper set, which has a really cool scythe, and, uh, cat ears. I mean, if you want to go trick-or-treating dressed like an e-boy, then go off, I guess. Goodie bags can also have five different types of paintings, rotten eggs, which can be thrown at NPCs to do a little bit of damage which these can also be found by chopping down trees. Unlucky Yarn, which summons a cat witch pet. Side note, if you follow me on Twitter, which if you don't, follow me on Twitter, I've been campaigning to redigit to get my cat as a pet in the game. And now I'm bringing this to light in a video because he liked the tweet and that means that there's a chance. So let's make this happen, guys. And the most important item from goodie bags is the bat hook which has one of the fastest pull speeds of any grappling hook in pre-hard mode. There are also two weapons exclusive to Halloween, these being the Bladed Glove and the Bloody Machete. They are dropped very rarely from any, um, weak enemy, which is very vague, but I can tell you what that means. Weak enemies are enemies with less than 20 defense, 40 attack damage, and that drop at most 5 silver coins. In expert mode, you have less choices for what enemies that can drop this, but in all honesty, it's not worth getting them. If you really want the items, you can look on the wiki on which enemies to get, because that's just a lot of enemies and I don't want to blow up the video. The Bladed Glove is a very weak sword, with very short range, but decently high attack speed. Due to the rarity, you most likely won't get it until it's already outclassed, so just go for the Fetid Bagnax if you want the same gimmick. The Bloody Machete is a boomerang that's uniquely affected by gravity. However, this makes it really awkward to use, so just stick to other weapons for the same reason as the Bladed Glove. The final items in Halloween are all items sold by various town NPCs. The Cauldron is sold by the Witch Doctor, and it is functionally identical to a cooking pot, but whether or not it's a good idea to make food in it is up to you. The rest of the items are vanities. The nurse set is sold by the arms dealer, which has implications for sure. The clothier sells the clothier's jacket and pants, as well as the Guy Fox mask. I see we've found out what Chippy does in his spare time. The cyborg, dryad, and die trader all sell a set of their clothes. 
or in the Dryad's case, what can be loosely described as clothes. The Steampunker sells her goggles, and the Wizard sells his hat. And that is all of the items added in Halloween. But what if you're watching this after Halloween and still want to get the items? Well, don't worry. You can actually start a Halloween event by finishing a Pumpkin Moon event. However, it only lasts for a single day. Thank you all so much for watching. This is easily the longest script I've ever had to write and read, so if you enjoy the video, it would mean the world if you would leave a like and subscribe. Once again, in the description is a link to my playlist of all my 1.4.4 informational videos, so check it out if you'd like. Thank you to my channel members Tundra Knight, Maestro, Gonzalo Kruger, Big Bro Grounds, and Megaswave for your support, as it means the world. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in another video. Happy Halloween, everybody.